hello guys welcome back to my channel thank you for always stopping by liking commenting and subscribing for the new ones don't forget to like comment subscribe turn on notification bell so that you'll be notified when i drop updates on twist of feet stay tuned on today's episode shana tells patrick she would do anything but gets cushy for her she pacifies patrick patrick imagines ramping with her cries and hugs him and tells she has to tell him something important he tells he knows everything she's cushy's more than his cushy's father she tells she never wanted to hide it from him he tells he knows it and he promised to never take panchi away from her she asks if he's seen true he promises and hugs her her imagination comes to an end. Rambi is also shattered, thinking he has lost Kushi because Pachi isn't with him. He imagines Pachi in the same manner. She tells she has come to ask why he hid it from her if he is Kushi's father, then she is Kushi's mother. He tells he wanted to tell her he was looking for her, but when he saw her with Ashkin, he didn't understand what to do. She asked him not to act innocent because he has done too wrong, that she has given birth to Kushi and she is Kushi's mother, but Rambi decides to keep her away. She reminds him that he used to call her his ward. He tells she also used to say she would never go away from him, but she left him and didn't keep her ward. She tells she had... He had also promised her. He tells she broke the promise and left him. She tells he had forced her to go. He asks her not to blame him for everything when a relationship is the responsibility of two persons. She agrees with him and says she has always kept the responsibility alone. He asks her not to provoke him else he might say anything that she hates. She tells there is no place for hatred because she would give him a solid answer. She accuses him of giving her rights to someone else and asks how he could snatch her daughter. That she isn't the old weak party. She would protect Kushi. He tells he will not let her take Kushi with her. She tells she would take Kushi with her. She disappears from there. He tells he will never let this happen and nobody can take Kushi away. He comes across Palavi and asks her to stop Pachi who has learned the truth and threatened to take Kushi away. Palavi asks him to come to senses because Pachi didn't come. Rambi realizes it was just his fear that came in front of his eyes and shook his senses. Palavi tells it's just his fear. He tells his guilt he didn't tell anything to Pachi. He's afraid she will take Kushi away from him. She asks him to forget it and end his fears. He tells he will not live in fear. On the other side, Kushi tries hard and finally makes a way to escape from the dark room and sees this scary lady holding the kid, hides from the lady, runs out of the orphanage. Pratchett sits in darkness, weeps, thinking of Kushi. Daddy asks if she will stop crying about her. Ha! saying no Spratchy will not stop crying and worrying and tells Spratchy should have a good sleep and think about bringing Kushi home with a fresh mind. Pratchy asks if she would get Kushi on. Daddy asks her to stop overthinking. Both Rambi and Prachi think of their daughter and smile. They make plans to surprise Kushi. Rambi tells he wanted to leave the first time moment of his daughter, but he couldn't secure her. He's glad he has got his daughter back and now he will leave all the moments he missed. That he will bring Kushi to the house because he is her father and has many rights over her. He thinks Kushi was emotional when he met her at the orphanage and wants to meet her, misses her, gets to hear a whistle sound and goes out to see and asks who is there. He tells him to call the police, gets surprised when Kushi comes in front of him. She asks why he called her, why he would call the police when he wanted to get her home. He tells he was thinking about her and she came in front of his eyes. He happily hugs her and cries. Pachi rushes out of the house. Ashke arrives there and tells he has come to check on her health. She tells she wants to go to for important work. He tells he will take her to Kushi and help her. She agrees to go with him. Rambi apologizes to Kushi. She tells the warden has locked her in a dark room and punished her. Rambi gets angered knowing this and asks if she was scared. She admits she was scared but she escaped from the window. He worriedly listened to her side of the story. Kushi tells Rambi that she jumped out of the window and fled from the orphanage. Rambi asks if she's okay. She asks if he's worried for her. He tells he's worried for her and she asks the reason, that she knows the reason. He asks what she knows. She thinks of Palavi's words, hugs Rambi and cries. He tells she can talk to him. She tells she used to look at the moon whenever she gets upset and she wished to get a father and feels she's lucky to get the world's best father. Calls him her dad. Tells she knows the truth that he's her dad. Rambi tells he's her dad and she's his daughter Panchi. He hugs her happily. Dida is pleased to see them. Pachi and Ashke reach the orphanage. He tells there's nobody inside. She tells they will go inside and check. He tells they don't know the way. He thinks why she's loving Kushi so much and knows she has much love in her heart and wishes Pachi wish gets fulfilled. Pachi tells the old lady that she wants to meet Kushi because she's going to adopt her, that Kushi will be waiting for her. She asks her to call Kushi once. The old lady agrees, asks the evil lady to go and get Kushi. The evil lady thinks she'll get Kushi and screw that to stop her from complaining. Pachi thanks the old lady for help. 
The, old, the evil lady doesn't find Kushi in the dark room and thinks Kushi has run away from the window. She tells she can't tell anyone that Kushi has escaped, gets afraid to tell Mira, knows she'll get scolded. Dida asks Kushi to meet Palaviri and Vikram. Kushi meets the family. Vikram and Palavi cry happily to get their grandchild home and tells he's getting much happiness. Kushi wipes Vikram's tears and asks him not to cry. Ria smiles seeing her. She asks Vikram to hug her and smile. Dida tells Vikram is Kushi's daddy and told it first that she looks like Rambi. Rambi also told Kushi she is his daughter. Palavi tells she's sorry, but she told Kushi the truth. Kushi is Rambi's daughter and has a big family. The fam they happily spend time with Kushi. Pracha and Ashki wait for Kushi. He asks her to relax. They will meet Kushi soon. Pracha tells the lady didn't get Kushi till now. He asks how much she would cry and tells those who love her will be worried for her and tells he doesn't like to see her crying. Pachi asks the lady where Kushi is. The evil lady who punished her tells she doesn't know about Kushi. Pachi asks where Kushi went to. The old lady asks the lady to go and check the room. The evil lady tells she had locked Kushi in the room to punish her, but Kushi went missing. Pachi and the lady scold her, tells that she has to find Kushi, who is smart and would have found a way to escape. She worries for Kushi. Rambi tells Palavi that the orphanage people will be finding Kushi and wants Kushi's name to get removed from the adoption list. She, he tells he would put a hold on the adoption process and calls the lawyer. Tells the lawyer he got an idea. He wants to get Kushi's name removed from the adoption order and he wants to put a stake order on the orphanage. The lawyer asks him not to do anything wrong. He tells he should apologize to Vera and make her believe he is a decent man. He asks Rambi if he is doing something wrong. Rambi tells he is not up to anything. Ashke asks the lady how she locked a little girl in the dark room and if she has no humanity. She apologizes to him. He scolds her. Pachi asks the kids if they've seen Kushi. The girl tells they don't know anything. Palavi tells she would never send Kushi to the orphanage, but they can't hide her at home. She supports Trump in his aim of keeping Kushi away from everyone. She tells they shall take Kushi to their farmhouse. He tells he would prove he is Kushi's dad and not run away. Kushi tells the orphanage staff won't believe him.